All right, y'all get in the food for the goats. And look who's back there with Egypt. Little Carol trying to steal some food. <laughs> that's hilarious. Good job, Egypt. All right, let's go feed the goats. Carol, you can't steal the food. <laughs> hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Nico. And Natalie. And Egypt. And we are coming to you from the Brown Family Farm, AKA our Brown Farmhouse. So today we have to check on the goats. That's what we're on the way to do right now. And then we are going to uh, give the baby goats, the dolings, I keep calling them babies, the, <laughs> the dolings, they're uh, warmer. So we're gonna dewarm the goats, the baby goats, the dolings. And then we're gonna take some time to talk about our chicken coop plans. What are you showing them, Egypt? The D warmer. So we use two. We use Safeguard. And then we also use Valbazin. And we like to use two different D warmers so that we can ensure that the goats um, covered. are covered. Yeah, the different possible worms are being taken care of. Y'all look at Thor as we approach them to give them their dinner. And then the dolings. There's one, two. And there's Caramel Bucket Train. Look at this, y'all. Running straight up to us. Straight to the bucket. Right ready. <laughs> straight to the bucket. To climb on top of us. Yeah. But Big Mike is doing good. He is still trying to get the peanut butter through the fence. But I think I fixed that. So today has been pretty well. But look at Latte. She's such a pretty goat. Mike, what's up, man? Mike knows his name, y'all. <laughs> and then there's Mocha. Hey, Mike. And then who's this guy? Uh, Look at him trying to put his head through. Who's this guy? <laughs> Come He's on. He's ready. He's so ready. Hmm. Let's do this, Mom. Because the baby goats are easy to catch, let's just go ahead and dewarm them really quick, and then we'll feed the goats. Okay. Look at Thor, y'all. <laughs> He's getting tough. Wet. Yeah. He is. He's getting tough. But I have the first one ready to go. This is going to be the safeguard. So let's do spirit first. Just going to put it in her mouth. And we're just going to go ahead and put it back there. And bam. Mm -hmm. Chew it up, girlfriend. Yeah. All righty. Now we have fancy pants. In all her glory. And all her beauty. Yeah, she's so pretty. Hey, mama. What do you think about fancy pants, Egypt? I like her pants. <laughs> you like her pants? <laughs> uh, butterscotch is left, y'all. So she's right behind mama's legs. She's so pretty with her markings. That's why we went to butterscotch. I know, baby. Come here. I know. She's kind of, she's like her mom. So this she's is butterscotch, y'all. Like... Very so beautiful. Pretty. I mean, Look at those so markings. pretty. Like, okay, I, I know. know. I, I know, baby. I know. So for safeguard right here, they get two mils. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, good job. And if you're wondering, yes, we do have a fourth baby, Carol. Carol is out living her best life, but she's already had her medicine, so. Yeah. All right, y'all, for the Valbazin, for the Valbazin, we're gonna be giving them three mils. As you can see, based on weight. All right, so mom's getting out three mils. All right, so this is called a drench gun, y'all. You put it down their esophagus, and that just helps ensure that it goes straight down. And we always like to get some water. So Egypt's getting mama some water in the gun. And we like to put that down as well, just to make sure that it's all in there and <laughs> there's nothing in their mouth she's pretty much easy <laughs> she is she's yeah. so nice. she likes everything right. you ever had a kid that actually likes medicine Sahara. that's what spirits like and sahara's that way egypt was that way when she was like two yeah, newborn through two she's like, no. and from two years on yeah you, you see 
our vegetables. <laughs> we used to like smoothies. We're smoothies coming with your dinner, girls. All right, we have two more goats and then feed time. All righty. Good job, Egypt. Yeah. See, she wants more. Spirit. <laughs> yeah, Come spirit on. wants more. You can't always <laughs> get something. Ah! I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know, girl. All right. I don't see any coming out of her mouth. That's good. Look at her trying to get it off her. She really loves. She likes it. She looks. She likes everything. You like everything, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All beautiful girls. So next up is pretty butterscotch. Like little deer. Yeah, she does look like a little doe, right? Come here, mommy. Butterscotch. And butterscotch is like, nope, you got me once. Yeah. She's and y'all know who was like, I'll take it. Look. <laughs> I'll take it, mom. Mom, I'll take it. All right. Yeah, she takes it. She doesn't. So there goes butterscotch. Like, a little bit, not a, just maybe ten water, ten to water, a little bit. And we have Kiko goats, y'all. So in theory, if you have to dewarm them, that's a problem. But I'm only doing this just to be safe. Um, they have a lot of stress right now because of separation. Uh, separation. Yeah. Good job, eat girl. Give me some of that. Yeah. Um, you know, not being with their mama, so. And look at them, y'all. See how they can't get their head through? It's a temporary fix. And just a reminder, I am, for this pasture right here and the new pasture, I am going to be, and maybe even a side pasture, I am going to be building, like, legit... <laughs> hey, boy down. I'm going to be building, like, legit goat feeders. Like, legit goat feeders. So, this is temporary. So, all of this... uh be pretty you know it's got to be beautiful this is the brown family farm y'all so but for right now what we're trying to accomplish this gets the job done for you to run with him <laughs> that's cute another part i guess you could say my one of my favorite parts of our nightly routine <laughs> yeah you got it <laughs> you got it he's tired now look at him <laughs> you're tired too <laughs> i think egypt's a little worn out Oh, Thor, Thor is not, he's not worn out anymore. He sees dad coming. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Look how close I'm able to get to the owl. I feel like if I get any closer, it'll fly away. But hopefully this gives a good example of how large it is. It's pretty, pretty wild. I believe this is the owl that was born in our shop almost two years ago. It's always lived on our property. It doesn't live on the sh in the shop anymore. I think it's too large to get into however it was getting in there. So Natalie and I have noticed three of the oak trees on our property that it seems to frequent. So this is the reason our chicks are locked up until we have the new coop and covered run completed because we do not want any free snacks on the house. But outside of that, everything else it could take care of like rodents and maybe snakes and other things. Hey, do your thing. No complaints from us. But this shows you how far away I actually am. I had to zoom in. I feel like if I get any closer, it's gonna fly away. It's actually a very beautiful owl, but finally been able to document it. So, awesome. And look at Thor. <laughs> And what we've been doing is giving him, we'll do two scoops in there 
which normally lasts him like a day and a half, almost two days, but it's it's a pitcher because he's a growing boy. That way we can make sure that he's still eating. And we do have to add some water in his little bucket here, but he, he dropped some food. So now he's making sure he gets that too. <laughs> Also, he still has water because he has his little kiddie pool and he has the goat's water over there. Yep. And he has the rain to chill in, so. <laughs> Do you think Thor is getting bigger, Egypt? I mean, yes, he is getting a little bigger. <laughs> I think he loves his house, y'all. Now, we've had people ask, so just going to throw out there, that Thor genuinely utilizes his doghouse for food and water. We have yet to see him sleep in there, which is why we haven't taken the time to create a bed or anything like that. Thor loves to sleep under these trees. Is that Achilles is the yeah. same way. Achilles He'll, doesn't use a bed. That, that nice bed we put on the porch for Achilles. It's for Tucker. He doesn't use it. Tucker does. Uh, so he likes to lie in the grass. He likes to lie with the goats. Or under he likes to lie under the tree. Yeah. Now Zeus... Zeus, Zeus has a bed, bed in his house and yeah. he uses his bed. So if you've ever had a dog before, which if you're watching this, there's a high likelihood you have. And on top of that, if you've ever had an outside dog before or a, do a dog that spends any amount of time outside, you also know that they love to lie in the dirt, right? So let me show you where Zeus likes to lie down during the daytime. But you see how it's bare by this rock. And as we come this way, there's a big crater right here, <laughs> right in front of this fence. Zeus digs it out, and that's where he likes to lie down. Guys, did y'all know we picked the name out for the baby calf? And we decided to go with like a cartoon character. And that cartoon character is Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. But we can also have her nickname as Pinky. Since Coco has a nickname, then why doesn't her daughter have a nickname? <laughs> I like it. It's grown on me. <laughs> it's grown on me. What about you, Mama? Remember your face initially? <laughs> roll the foot, it's back. Yeah, drum roll. So we were going to go with Brewer or Sugar, Brown Sugar. I did have an idea of sugar cube, like for another thing of brown sugar, but we decided to go with a pony cartoon character, and me and Nana agreed on this because we thought it was what so cute. What do you mean cute. pony? Like My Little, my little pony? pony? Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So we went with Pinkie Pie. <laughs> this is so <laughs> Look, you can see Dad's face. He's like, oh, my God. All right, say that louder for the people so in the back. We decided to go with Pinkie Pie, but her nickname can be Pinky if you don't want to call her Pinkie Pie. Yeah. This From was my little pony. We yeah. Well, thank you, Nana. And you Egypt. don't like it, I can change it. No, nope, it's great. Nope, it's, it's so good. Like it's your name. You okay. got the, we love it, Egypt. You, you, you chose it. the name, and we it's love a good it. Name. Yeah, I like it. It's yeah. grown on me. All right, y'all. So. We have 22 chicks in here, Whoa. and we believe a majority of them are hens. Um, there's probably like what one or two, maybe one, one rooster. One rooster. So, yeah. all right, Egypt. And on top of this, about how many eggs do we have in the incubator right now? About two dozen. <laughs> yeah. So, and that's a splash Americana that she was holding, by the way, y'all. Yeah. So 22 plus another 24, we need another chicken coop and run. So mom and I are about to break down to y'all our thought process around the chicken coop and run idea. So let's go grab a seat, mama, and let's break down to everyone kind of what we're thinking. And this is an interactive part of the video, y'all. So as we're kind of laying down our thought process, drop your recommendations or opinions down low so down below in the comments so that we can have the quote-unquote perfect coop and run so let's dive into that mama all right y'all so we've made it to the porch one of my favorite areas of the homestead the front porch my favorite is actually the back porch yeah for him it is i love the front porch yeah so the chicken coop build um, 
Well, first thing first, uh, we have two options. We can build a coop or we can buy something, whether it's a coop, something manufactured or whatnot. Yeah, and then convert it. Yep. So I've done the math on building a coop. So if I have to buy all of the materials, two by fours, two by sixes, two by tens, uh, the metal roof, um, plywood, uh, the outside wall, the inside wall, the floor, the flooring, um, everything that we want to do to the coop, it's going to run us about $3,700 uh, just due to the cost of materials nowadays. Yeah. Alternatively, the um, we one day we were driving and we saw a place to go look at like sheds and they had some coops there. But the coops were a little bit smaller than our needs currently. Um, maybe for about five chickens. Yeah. And as you saw, we have 21 in there and then we have some more that are going to hatch. So then we started looking at a shed and thinking about ideas on how we could convert it. And we found one that was going to, with the discount that the guy was offering, it'll be about a little over 3000 um, And it's already done. Yeah, y'all. So those are the two options. So... Uh, with the first option, outside of a higher cost, I also have to think about time. I have to build it. And mom's back at work, so a lot of this will be by myself. And as y'all know, I have baby Pharaoh during the day. Um, don't have much help. Really? Any help? Because yeah, the people us. I do know here yeah. are they're at work. <laughs> so, And we have no family here, in case you didn't know that. So we don't have a lot of family here. Um, I, I would argue that we have no family here. We have my mother-in-law that lives with us. Well, she works too, she won't be here. And I have my brother-in-law and sister-in-law, but they live about 40 minutes to an hour away mm -hmm. and they work during the day as well. So whenever I say like, we have no family here, please don't take me literally. We have three, one of them lives with us. Two of them live about 40 minutes to an hour away. But when I think about if I was in San Antonio or, or even in Arkansas, and if you were in Lafayette, I mean, we have more family to help us with projects than we know what to do with. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what I mean when I say no family. I digress. I think it's kind of obvious which option we maybe should go with. I don't think it's that obvious. Mom doesn't think it's that obvious. Why? Well, we have to pay for like, well, no, we don't have to pay for delivery. Free delivery. But um, I like doing projects. <laughs> Yeah, so if we, <laughs> if we were to go with the second option, it would be the first thing that we didn't build, like yeah. uh, Frankie's house, the goat house, all of our feeders, essentially almost everything we uh, have built ourselves. It's like a sense of, um, what is, what's the word? Like, we you, just love you, the you, DIY. And you also appreciate it more, like when yeah. you know the time and like the sweat that was put into it. Yeah. And it's an accomplishment, like when you get to see the full project when it's done. Um, it's just a good, it's a satisfying feeling for me. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I would kind of feel like a little cop out. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not, yeah. And it may be obvious which direction I'm leaning towards. So, mom's leaning towards option one. I say that because I will be the it. main one building this. That's mm -hmm. why I say that. And I'm but. leaning towards option two because we'll still be able to make it our own. Um, but regardless of which one, and we'll get to that, but regardless of which one, um, flooring, there's a couple of options. In our current coop, we use wood chips mm -hmm. for what's called the deep litter method. And that's a whole nother video. If you would love to uh, see us make a video on the deep litter method, just let us know down below in the comments. Yeah. Um, but we use wood chips and deep litter. In the new coop, I kind of want to go with sand. Because A, we're in Florida, and that's just our ground, <laughs> so it's free. Um, but B, it's like a big kitty litter. I've seen other channels do it over the years. Most recently, Cog Hill did it in uh, one of their coops, and it's like a big kitty litter. Yeah. You just scoop it out? You just scoop it out, yeah. Um, I was asking. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, you just <laughs> scoop it out. Um, literally, think of it like a big litter box. Um, 
you know, you just filter out with whatever your pitchfork or whatever you're using. You yeah. pick it up, filter it out, and you're you're taking away the the chicken manure. Um, and the other thing that we've been thinking through is because we have a guest that, as Nico's grandma would say, their one week bar of soap for their visitation is gone. And that is our owl that seems to not want to leave. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we should name it. <laughs> yeah, it was born on the property. <laughs> it lives in at least three of the trees on the property. Yeah. It Apparently it wants to stay. So we might as well name the owl. It's our owl, I guess. <laughs> Who would have who would have thunk it? Yeah, um, who have was that? Did you do that on purpose? No. Oh, because I was saying okay. I thought you. Oh, I thought she was good. being funny. Never mind. Um. So yeah, what should we name the owl, y'all? This is a legitimate one. We're dropping in the comments below. Yeah. Some owl name ideas. Hootie. But uh, yeah, the chicken run, mama. So what we're gonna do, because we do have some smaller um, chicks, we're gonna do a covered um, run. And it is a pretty spacious area. Um, mm -hmm. So that's that's the part that we wanted to make sure that we gave them enough space to be able to roam. Um, and we're gonna put <laughs> um, some little toys in there. So thinking about like a, some chicken toys, like a little table and then like a xylophone and they have some other cool ones that we've been looking at. Like a um, seesaw. Yeah and thinking of fun ways to give them different snacks um but getting creative i've been wanting to start like a little worm farm nico has no interest in that <laughs> but yeah. i think you i think it would be fun um i remember doing it when i was in middle school so i think it'll be fun for sj and i to do since she likes to get dirty but yeah yep um and then the next thing is going to be inside of the coop uh, we would love to protect the floors and the walls. So one of the ideas we had for floors, let us know what you think, is not only to have, have an, an actual floor, but on the floor itself, put some type of linoleum that we can get on clearance or really cheap at like Lowe's or Home Depot. Yeah. And then the sand would go on top of that, right? So that way, whenever we do clean it out and do a deep clean, it's easy to clean. The floor would be protected from moisture and stuff like that. And then on the walls, I was thinking that maybe we could use some type of animal safe coating um, so that it's waterproof. And we could waterproof the corners and waterproof the walls themselves. Um, so that way, if we ever wanted to like really clean out the coop, because I want it to be pretty inside, y'all. That's just me. Uh, we could literally take a water hose and just spray it down in there, you know, sweep it or squeegee it clean and coop is perfectly beautiful again. You know what I mean? So let me know y'all's thoughts on that. Um, and the other part that we've been getting excited about is how do we have the colors and the appearance of it, as we like to call it beautification, blend with our other buildings that we have on the property. So thinking about like windows and having shutters and then planter boxes. Um, and then do we do a little porch on there? Um, some fun things. Our neighbor likes to call us Better Home and Gardens. <laughs> so every time he passes by, it's just a joke between us. Um, but we have been thinking about ideas to make sure that it's it's still a beautiful home for them. Yeah. Um, and that way it blends in because it, be, it will be out of character if we just put a building there and then put roost and then call it a day that's not that's not us so yeah. yeah not at all there are some cool roost ideas that i've seen of the inside mm -hmm. so cool roost that we could build in inside to like maximize space because this is a lot of chickens so to maximize space um yeah. and if you have any cool ideas share them with us but uh, i'm sure there's pictures on the screen right now of different roofs that we could do on the inside. Um, I like I, different ideas, yeah. Yeah. All right, y'all, so uh, the next thing we have when it comes to this coop, and we really want y'all to feel involved because this is gonna be like one of the first major things we've built since we started sharing oh, on well, yeah. YouTube. I mean, next to the aviary. I mean, every well, yeah, yeah, y'all got to see, see Graceland, but a lot of the 
beautification of our property was before we ever started social media. So yeah. I always used to say, man, I wish we started sooner. We should have. Yeah, but y'all could be a part of this. So that leads me to the nesting boxes. So there's many ways we could do this. We can build like nesting boxes that are inside. And that means that whenever we go get their eggs, we have to go inside the coop. We'll get their eggs, kind of like we do with our current coop. Yeah. We have to go in the coop, we get the eggs, which is cool. That's one idea. Alternatively, there's these cool new, uh, they're not new, but new to us, nesting boxes where um, the chicken lays and the eggs roll out. And I really like those. They are kind of expensive. Well, like anything in life, you could get them cheap up to expensive. Yeah. Um, but, you know, you get what you pay for. It's kind of fancy. Yeah, but when the hens uh, lay their eggs, uh, the egg rolls out the back and they're nice and clean. And they make some to where they roll out and it's still on the inside of your coop. You have to go in to get the egg, but at least the egg is clean. And I, and I wanna say that that's pretty similar to some of the uh, nesting boxes that you've seen on some of the other channels um, in this niche, this homesteading niche. Yeah. Um, but the one that I really like is one where um, the eggs do roll out, but you could get the eggs without having to go inside the coop. Oh, so, the one that, and they're still covered, so like a snake can just grab right. them. Right. Yeah. So I think whether I build it myself, which would be cheaper, or I find one, I would like to somehow get onto the coop, um, a box where the egg rolls out. It stays clean and we could get the eggs or retrieve the eggs without ever having to go inside the coop which will make it faster during our evening chores yeah there will be an automatic chicken coop door mm -hmm. so that they could get in and out of the run um that'll automatically open and shut so yep what's the last thing mama one of the most important decisions is gonna be the address yeah i, I say important but i'm being funny y'all um so we've been thinking about two different dates. The first one would be, and we, we want um, you guys to pick. So we'll keep a tally of whichever one you all say. So the first one will be the date of our live, the fir our first live, which was what? Sometime in August. <laughs> Sometime, I don't remember. Um, or the second option that just popped into our heads recently because she just showed up is Pinkie Pie's birthday. Um, which is 9.15. So we're, we're going back and forth between those two. So the date of our first live or the date that Pinkie Pie was born. So tell us what you think. We already know what each was gonna say, but yeah. yeah, so. So there you go. As I prepare to either build a coop or buy a shed, but I still have to do all that stuff too on the inside yeah. and outside. Um, now you kind of know our thought process and hopefully you can help us build the ultimate chicken coop. Yeah.